you might need an identity upgrade if you are going to deal with the spiritual upgrades that are going on in your life. So let me tell you a little bit about your identity upgrade, which is optional. So I had a client just call me asking about what to do with a kind of dream communication that could not be interpreted. So what happened was she had a dream and she felt like she was getting all of this information that she really understood that solved some problems that gave insight. And she had that feeling of like, having received some awesome download. But then when she woke up, she couldn't figure out what she had learned. And so that gave me a little insight or a little, well, an opportunity to give you guys a little insight about this. How do we deal with these kind of things? Now, it could be that you had a meditation and that you felt some kind of major insight. And then after the meditation, you feel like you kind of lost it. This is a common thing that happens to spiritual seekers or whatever you want to call this type of person that you and I are. Um, so what it is, is that the mind wants to be in control of everything. And it seems like a really reasonable desire slash request. When the mind says, well, I just want to understand what's going on here. I want to know the meaning. And when we are graduating to a higher level, which many people would say does not exist, but you and I know it does, that what happens is that we go beyond the linear meaning making of the mind. And to people that are only at that mental level, it makes no sense. It seems like a tyranny. It seems like capricious. Like, I'm telling you that I have this higher wisdom beyond your mind and just shut up. That's what it feels like I'm saying. Um, but see, the tyranny is really in the other direction. The tyranny is in the mind. So, one analogy that I gave my client is imagine that a blind person had an operation and regained their sight, but all the new information that was coming through sight, that person was telling people around them, like, oh yeah, okay, I see these things, whatever, but I don't get it. What does that mean? Tell that to me in terms of sound or touch or something else, right? It, it's like, no, I can't tell you what yellow is in terms of sound. Yeah, I could make a computer program and I could assign different notes to different colors and then, you know, sure, but it still wouldn't give you the essence of yellow, okay? Yellow is a sight thing. And it can only be understood as a sight thing. It doesn't matter if you can say, well, it's this many megahertz or whatever. That's still not the energy of yellow. Okay. And so when you have a dream, so let's put yourself in this scenario. You have a dream and you feel like, God, an angel, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, whoever, your higher self, gave you some new information, some mind-blowing information, and you got it in the dream. And then you wake up and you're like, what was the information, you know? 
right? I don't know what that information was. I need to find the information. And then you start racking your brain for the information. It's not there. And now most people, when you say it's not there, they'll say, well, then where is it? And how could it not be there? And everything's there. But I want you to imagine that your consciousness is bigger than your mind. Your consciousness, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Just feel it. Your consciousness is bigger than your mind. So, if your consciousness is bigger than your mind, and it's not in your mind, it's somewhere in the rest of your consciousness. Now, to your mind, that sounds like a real bullshit statement. <laughs> you know, where's the rest of my consciousness then? Well, that's your mind trying to say, if it's not here, it doesn't exist. But that's wrong. So, you're stepping off of a ledge, and it feels insecure. As you start to get into intuitive awareness, as you start presenting that awareness to others, you realize that the packaging that the brain is insisting on doesn't exist okay it's like if if you say why was that movie good i can never really say it i can talk around it forever we could write libraries worth of books about why the movie was good or why somebody disagrees or whatever but there's an essence feeling of i like it that I can't describe. Anyway, going back to the dream and receiving the information. The information that you received is there, okay? You did receive it somewhere, but it's not in your mind. So, where else could it be? Well, as I said, your consciousness is bigger than your mind. So, feel into the consciousness beyond the mind and ask for it to show you the consciousness beyond the mind includes the mind okay the consciousness beyond the, think of it is like you have your body and you have your aura and this is the consciousness of the mind, and this is the consciousness beyond the mind, which includes the mind. Okay? So the consciousness beyond the mind includes the mind. And it goes beyond. And so it's not disconnected from you. It's not on Jupiter somewhere hanging out. It's right there. So, you're going to have to let it in. And when it comes in, the mind is going to want to grab it and say, what does that mean? Like, oh, I saw a unicorn and whatever, and the unicorn was eating raspberries and what does that mean? And now you start looking up unicorn and raspberries in a dream dictionary to figure out what it means. Don't do that. <laughs> Not at first, at least. You might want to do it later to get some more, um, uh, some, some more options, whatever. Don't start with that, please. What you want to do instead is just feel what is the feeling i get about unicorn eating raspberries okay and then just kind of immerse yourself in that feeling whatever feeling it might be ooh gross makes me want to barf okay feel that okay and your brain's going to say but uh, why should a unicorn eating raspberries make me want to barf why do i think that's gross that's cute i love unicorns i love raspberries what's the problem 
Don't do it. Don't go there. Just feel whatever's coming up. Okay. And trust that synapses, neural, you know, synapse patterns are growing. They're being built as we speak. And then it's kind of like popcorn, right? It's just going to pop eventually. You're going to have different pops, okay? The thing is, it might be like, oh, you don't need to be insecure, okay? For example, and you're like, what the hell does unicorn eating popcorn? And then I feel like it's gross and I want to barf. And then the message is, you don't need to feel insecure. And you're like, what the hell does all this mean? Right? That's your brain trying to grab it again. Don't do that. Just be like, okay, I don't have to be insecure. Cool. Now feel that feeling along with the unicorn and whatever and feel what happens. And then it's like, oh, I feel like the unicorn loves those raspberries. Okay. What does that mean? Don't do it. Just feel the unicorn loving the raspberries. Oh, that makes him want to fly up in the sky. Well, feel that energy, right? Feel, feel, keep feeling, okay? It's going to be disjointed. It's like somebody who regains their sight, or let's say they never had their sight. It's going to take a lot of work for the brain to process what the hell all these lights mean. It's a new world. It's a new world of perception. Okay, so if you're watching this, and especially if you've been watching it from the beginning, that means that you have a new world of perception that wants to open to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have manifested this video and you wouldn't have stuck with it for 12 minutes and 24 seconds, 27, 28. Um, but since you did find it and you have stuck with it, I'm talking to you. You are on the verge of an upgrade when it comes to your perception. Time to get excited. And here's how you deal with it. You let it all in and you keep resisting the efforts of your logical mind to create meaning out of it. Don't create meaning because every time you create meaning, you close the door and then the meaning, the brain goes around and around and around on it and nothing really happens right? When you keep it open, more comes in. And all that stuff coming in is not going to make sense to the brain. But it does make sense to the larger consciousness. This is why we have art, especially modern art, because it goes beyond linear meaning. It goes beyond just representing physical reality. There's an energy transmission happening when you see the art. There's a feeling and each piece of art has a slightly or majorly different feeling. And it's another language. You're learning another language. As you open up to intuition, you have to say yes. And the thing that will shut down and slow your process of becoming more intuitive is when you keep stopping it with, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? The brain is very territorial and aggressive, but the brain and the mind are not the ultimate judges of reality or consciousness. Consciousness is bigger. And you, because you're watching this, are obviously at the brink of that bigger consciousness becoming a part of who you are on an everyday level. And then the mind will integrate it and the mind 
will be comfortable with what was inexplicable in the past. And it still doesn't mean that the mind will ever completely understand it. But that's not a problem because you don't understand a sunset. You don't understand a sunset. Do you? You could tell me, oh yeah, well, it's the sunlight refracted through the atmosphere, blah, blah. Yeah, right. Okay, fine. But when you stand there blown away having that emotional reaction to the sunset, that is something beyond your mental understanding. That is part of your consciousness, but not necessarily part of the mind that you identify with. There's a big reality out there and it goes beyond what your brain and your mind are currently aware of and you are opening to it now and this is one way to keep that going thanks so much for watching and for more information on what i do andysway.com thank you very much bye, -bye.